When and why did you decide to be an artist? I think life probably decided for me. Um, I always wanted to be a sportsman, but I had a terrible accident when I was 21 and I had to leave university, uh, leave art school, I'm sorry. And uh, yeah, I had to stay home for a year and I was in hospital a long time. So I suppose in that time I realized if I wanted to be creative, it wouldn't be on a sports pitch. It would have to be in the art world. So yeah, I think it was then, quite young. How would you describe your practice? I use different media to deal with different subjects. So sometimes I use film, drawing, photography, and in the case of Amplinithliad, uh, sculpture. But yeah, each, each subject needs a different approach, so I don't stick with one sort or another. And, you know, in the case of something like drawing, I took it up quite late in life and, and taught myself uh, only 10 years ago. Currently, what work are you making and how does it fit in with your broader practice? I'm currently working on the outline and I'm also making a series of drawings that you see behind you um, about plastic and the use of plastic in water bottles. Um, this work is inspired by the fact that we use so much plastic to drink something that we can get straight from a tap. So I've started to crunch plastic bottles of water into shapes that reflect very famous oil paintings from the 19th century and try and create a sort of confrontational approach to drawings that are beautiful and accurate, but tell a story through their title that would give the viewer a different understanding of their context and why they exist. What is the outline to you? It's been my life the last couple of years, um, but I think it's a chance to show off Wales' fantastic landscape, but to delve into the stories and the myths that surround the country and its history. So it's an opportunity to create site-specific art in our real, beautiful landscape. What is unique about Wales that we can accentuate in outline? Well, Wales is one of the few countries with a coastal path around its circumference. It's 877 miles long, which is huge. And perhaps to make it easier to grasp and to understand, we could create sort of bite-sized chunks. So I think the outline has the opportunity to allow visitors to enjoy the landscape, but to also understand more about the culture and the history of the country through the artworks they see. So I think in a way Wales is the perfect size for a project like this. It's big enough and interesting enough to provide lots of opportunities, but it's not so large that we could never really conceive of it. Doing it with the United Kingdom or the United States would just be too big and too unwieldy. But we have a, we've probably got a more concise, succinct story to tell here. How can we use the Welsh and English languages most effectively in outline to reflect our country and its unique outlook and heritage? Well, that's going to be a task, um, but us as a team, we need to draw on all of our experience, work with people from Wales who use the language as their first language, and hopefully through experimentation, trying things and failing sometimes, we'll be able to create something that reflects Wales, reflects the art in Wales, and reflects the stories that have come out of industry and culture and community. It's not gonna be easy, but if we're careful, we may be able to create that story through beautiful, interesting, difficult pieces of art. What do you think the outline could be? 
it could be amazing if we get it right and we get the government and Arts Council Wales interested. It really could be a large project that showcases the uniqueness of Wales. We could create a few pieces of art each year and add them to the Amplinathliad. So over a period of 10 years, if we created three pieces each year, we'd have 30 artworks, each referring to a very specific site and to a cultural story or event or an industry that reflects that site. So the opportunity is huge. We need skill, a bit of good fortune and some momentum. And I guess we can only get that from the government or organisations that support Wales generally. So I think the possibilities are fantastic. But if we don't do it well and we do it carelessly, it won't, it won't go anywhere. But if we work with the right people in the right way, we could create the first art path around an entire country that tells brilliant stories about the people.